What's going on guys? So as you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be a very interesting battle. Now, the embargo is up. We can talk about the 12th gen Intel i7-12700 chipset, and we're also gonna compare it against the MacBook Pro M1 Max 16 inch. We are gonna put these head to head on an AK rendering scrubbing playback test. Now let's talk about the build we have in the PC here because we are very excited on this. This is an Aftershock build, by the way. Again, it's the 12th gen Intel i7-12700 chipset. We've got the GeForce RTX 3070 graphics card, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, one terabyte of storage. Then on the MacBook Pro, We've got the 10 core CPU, 32 core GPU, 64 gigabytes of unified memory, and two terabytes of storage inside the 16 inch MacBook Pro. This is pretty much spec'd out minus the storage on this, which you can pretty good, even go much higher than two terabytes. But we've got this for our review set. So we've got Premiere Pro loaded on both of these computers here. What we're gonna be doing is we have 8K video footage from our Nikon Z9 review. If you haven't checked that out, click on this, but wait after this video to watch that because this is gonna be a lot more fun and more interesting. So we've got 8-bit H.265 uh, video. We've got 10-bit H.265 video, which is N-Log. We've also got that graded as well. So you're gonna see the graphics card kick in on the PC as well as the MacBook Pro when it comes into that graded uh, footage coming into play. So this is gonna be a very interesting test. Then afterwards, we are going to do a rendering test on both of these, and then we'll do rendering, of course, with Final Cut Pro on the M1 Max, just to see if there's a big difference between that and Premiere Pro versus the PC. Obviously, you can't put Final Cut here on that, but we'll let the Intel cool down a little bit and let the Mac just do a couple more things, you know, because we can. Anyway, with that, let's get down to scrubbing. Zach, are you ready? Yeah. Woo, okay, here we go. We're gonna go on here to the PC with scrubbing AK footage. It looks like some drop frames happening here. Okay, not bad. Some drop frames, obviously. Not the smoothest scrubbing, but it's much better than previous. Now we go to the MacBook Pro. Three, two, one, go. As you can tell, no drop frames. Now I'll expand the timeline a little bit so then you can see a little bit more in terms of a clip. Instead of all these clips put it together, see a little bit more elongated and see if you can see any drop frames in that regard. Three, two, one. Not bad, right? Little stutters here and there, not too bad. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Ready? Go. I think there's a clear winner on that one. I'm gonna give that to the MacBook Pro. There's no drop frames, nothing. That was smooth as butter. That was beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna do a playback test. So what we'll be doing is playing back our 10-bit H.265 N-Log footage. Now, halfway through, it is graded, and that's where the graphics card will kick in a little bit. So that's where you'll see a difference on the PC to the Mac, or will we? Let's find out. Okay, three, two. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there will be ProRes available on this camera soon after launch, but right now you have HLG and N-Log. And we're actually shooting N-Log right now, H.265 10-bit internal at 8K. 25p. This is pretty damn impressive for a mirrorless camera system. This is impressive. So we're going to grade it. You're going to see the before and after what it looks like on grade. But uh, I got to tell you, man, this camera is very impressive. And there goes a Pelican right there. What I needed to shoot the entire time. I missed it. But I'm showing you in log at 8K. So there you go. Damn it. So as we saw right there on the playback, it was pretty choppy. Um, even when we got to the graded end log, it was choppy as well. So would I call this smooth? Not quite, but you know, this is pretty good. I mean, we're getting full 10-bit H.265 footage out of this. We've not done any sort of proxy on this. This is full resolution. So now we go to the MacBook Pro M1 Max chipset and see how that handles it. Okay, three, two. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there will be ProRes available on this camera soon after launch, but right now you have HLG and N-Log. And we're actually shooting N-Log right now, H.265 10-bit internal at 8K 25p. This is pretty damn impressive. 
free <laughs> mirrorless camera system. This is impressive. So we're gonna grade it. You're gonna see the before and after what it looks like on grade. But uh, I gotta tell you, man, this camera is very impressive. And there goes the Pelican. Right there, what I needed to shoot the entire time. I missed it. But I'm showing you N-Log in 8K. So there you go. Damn it. <laughs> so I think we have a clear winner on that one. I think the MacBook Pro M1 Max performed beautifully with that. No dropped frames, nothing choppy. That was smooth. So we've done the scrubbing test, the MacBook Pro, best of the Intel. We've done the playback test, the MacBook Pro has best of the Intel thus far. Now we're not paid or sponsored for this at all. Actually, we didn't even do these tests prior to this, so we really don't know what the outcome is. I'm actually impressed that it did that well versus the Intel 12th gen. I was not expecting that. But now we're gonna go to rendering. We're gonna see how these two machines handle the 8K footage. We're gonna render it out in full resolution for you. So with that, let's get down to the test. Let's have some fun. All right, guys, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while, huh? <laughs> 10 minutes. I have to say, I'm very impressed with the MacBook Pro right now. We're eight minutes and 21 seconds remaining. Uh, on the PC, we're at nine minutes and 42 seconds, 41 seconds remaining. All right, I'm gonna grab a bite. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jackie. <laughs> you know what's interesting though? There's not even a fan mm -hmm. on the MacBook Pro, actually. There's not even a fan on the MacBook Pro right now. So looking at this, well, I mean, it's about six minutes, 30 seconds right now. It's kind of slowed down a little bit. Yours is seven minutes and two seconds. So you guys caught up a little bit. It's actually maybe this. Okay, so they're almost neck and neck right now. I'm at 38%, you're at 37%. Actually, it's quite impressive. They're really neck and neck with each other right now. But anyway, while we're waiting, I thought it'd be a good time to talk to you about our sponsor, Logitech. Here at Geek Culture, gaming is a way of life, and we always enjoy dishing out headshots with the Logitech G Pro X Super Light Mouse. Now, the lightweight wireless mouse combines excellent performance with the classy no frills look. Designed with pros and engineered to win, it offers crisp and responsive clicks. The smooth operator even allows you to swap out the magnetic dongle storage compartment for greater gliding ease. Check out all of its other features over at LogitechG.com. Okay, so the MacBook Pro has completed its download at nine minutes and 18 seconds. Uh, thereabouts, uh, we got, we'll put the exact number right down below the screen here. And we've got 30 seconds remaining and we're at 10 minutes and four seconds right now, and it's still going. So, I mean, obviously the MacBook Pro has uh, won this challenge, but by how much? This is gonna be uh, very, very interesting to see how this uh, plays out. Wow, by over a minute. <whistles> by over a minute, the MacBook Pro is. Okay, so the PC finished in 10 minutes and 41 seconds, and the MacBook Pro M1 Max finished in nine minutes and 18 seconds. They're about to running it down, but that's the difference between these two uh, machines. But there's something I didn't tell you. It's not been plugged in the entire time. And in terms of heat, it's just slightly warm. That's impressive. This is extremely impressive. I've never seen a laptop do something like this before. Uh, at least an Apple laptop for that matter. So as we saw from the H.264, obviously MacBook Pro, dead best, the Intel chipset. However, now we're gonna do it in ProRes through Premiere Pro. So we'll see how well both these machines handle that. Three, two, one, go. Uh, it seems the PC is a little bit slower right now. Now, of course, I think Apple's whole system is really built around ProRes for optimizing ProRes. I mean, Final Cut just chews through ProRes. It's nothing to, the, to it, you know? But this is very impressive. Look at the bar, it's just moving along.
Dude, this is chugging through. I mean, obviously, slow, way slower than Final Cut. No. Final Cut was done, one minute, 17 seconds. All right, welcome to a special segment where we ask facts about Bobby. So, um, what's your zodiac sign? Scorpio. How do you feel right now? Tired. What's your favorite movie? Godfather 1 and 2. How tall are you? 1.83. Oh, you didn't meet us, man. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Matrix is tall. What's hey, I've been in Singapore for 14 years. <laughs> I've converted to meters. <laughs> Name three things that you love. My dog, my partner, and my mom. Name three things that upset you. Three things that upset me. Slow computers. <laughs> uh, telemarketing calls coming in. And that's pretty much it. I don't have three things, just two. Who's your favorite celebrity crush? Ooh, depends. Depends. Right now, I love Margot Robbie. I love Margot Robbie. All right. Yeah. All right. What is your favorite perfume? I don't wear perfume, I'm a guy. Mm. Mm. Okay, what's your favorite cologne? <laughs> I actually don't have one. Right. Just wear deodorant most of the time. What's up, sponsors? Anyone out there? <laughs> <laughs> is there anything you wanted to do in your youth that you still haven't done? Many, many things. I would love to have traveled the world more. I would have loved to... We're almost at 93% there. <laughs> Um, Pasta, come on. I don't, I don't know. I don't mean, there's so many things you kind of like look, look back. I, I think of more traveling. I think traveling would have been the big thing for me. And that's it. All right. And 96%. Wow, 74% and 97%. Okay. We only have a final. No, we can't even beat this in well, seconds it's now. Too, it's too far off already. Mm -hmm. And done. 516, right? 517. I mean, honestly, this is just impressive, dude. The MacBook Pro is done at five minutes and 17 seconds. And the PC is still going. You got eight, you've done, you've rendered 85% of it at five minutes and 59 seconds. I mean, honestly, I think this chipset is obviously really good, but this goes to show how good the architecture is in the M1 Max chipsets, I think, from Apple. I mean, this is warm, but it's not hot. This is not even close to the heat that I would feel on the 16 inch MacBook Pro from 2019. That fan, by from all the testing we've done, it would have sounded like an air conditioning unit. It was so oh, loud. I, I it. Okay, yeah. about a little over two minutes more on the PC versus the MacBook Pro. Press it. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run ProRes off a of final cut on the MacBook Pro M1 Max and see how fast that is. Let's do it right now. Just to give you a heads up on this, the MacBook Pro has been unplugged this entire time. Now, usually laptops perform better when they're plugged in versus unplugged. Apple has touted that, no, it performs the same. So what we wanted to do is run all these benchmark tests without a power source into it. Uh, on top of that, there are apps that are running in the background of this as well. So now we're gonna test to see how fast ProRes rendering is on Final Cut 10.6. Let's do this. Go. Percentage well. <laughs> this is insane. It's almost like a percentage a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's almost done. It's at 85%. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, okay. That is that's insane. That's I mean I personally have never seen numbers like that and I don't own a Mac Pro so you know, for those of you who do own those, you probably have seen this, but I have not. Um, I've been using an M1 iMac, as you guys saw in my first impressions uh, video as a comparison. I mean, that, that to me was fast. This is on another level. So anyway, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked. All right, guys, so that's our uh, fun little test here at the Geek Culture Studios with the uh, 12th generation Intel i7-12700 uh, chipset. Of course, we had the uh, GeForce RTX uh, 3070 
uh, GPU. Then, of course, we've got uh, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, one terabyte of storage in the Aftershock computer. And this 16-inch MacBook Pro is a 10-core CPU, 32-core GPU, 64 gigabytes of unified memory, and two terabytes of storage. So two very powerful machines for anybody out there. How do they perform? Man, this Mac is good. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy that. Subscribe and like this video it helps us out a lot. Take care, stay safe, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.